Today I'm going to be showing you how to deploy ISP Config 3 on Linux Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So let's first take a look at the minimum system requirements that are actually needed to deploy ISP Config 3 successfully. So you basically need a physical or virtual machine with at least 2 gigs of RAM, a dual core processor, and at least 20 gigs of free disk space. But if you can set up a physical or virtual machine with uh, even more specs than this, then I actually highly recommend that you actually really go for that. So um, for this demonstration, I'm going to be deploying on Amazon Web Services, and I'm going to be using the Light Cell service. So the first thing that I'm actually going to show you is how to set up the Light Cell instance. So I've logged into my account, and then uh, once you've actually logged in, click on the Create Instance button. On the instance creation page, uh, on the selected platform section, click on OS only and then select the Ubuntu 20.04 OS image. Select your plan, I recommend the $10 plan, and then um, set the username for the instance. So in this case, I'm going to call the server ISP config 3 server. So once you've configured these parameters, click on the create instance button. So uh, the server is then going to de be deployed and then once the deployment is complete, click on the name of the server and then uh, scroll down to the download uh, key pair download link, download default key actually. So we're actually going to use this key to connect to the server via SSH. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to rename the key. So I'm going to rename it to uh, ISP config 3 key. So I'm actually renaming it, renaming it now. Um, and then after renaming, we need to set the key as read only. So open up your favorite uh, terminal program. In my case, it's the default uh, macOS terminal application. And then the first thing you need to do is to change your working directory to the downloads folder. So I've changed my working directory to the downloads folder. And the command you need to run is uh, chmod400 and then append the file name for the key pair file and then once you've actually done that you now need to run a command to connect to the actual instance so run the command sshi append the file name for the key pair file and then type in the username at uh, the IP address for the instance so I'm going to paste in the IP address and then press enter so you'll be prompted to to verify the authenticity of the host, so you just need to type in yes and then press enter. So I've actually successfully connected to the Ubuntu instance, uh, which is actually hosted in the cloud on uh, Amazon Web Services. So the next thing that I'm actually going to do is to install updates, so I'm run the command apt update. So this command I will actually download and install system and package updates for Ubuntu. And then once the package update and upgrade process is done, Run the command hostname ctl, set hostname, uh, and then I'm, 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 I'm going to set the hostname to ISP config server. And then once you're actually done that, you need to reboot the server by just running the command reboot. So the next thing I'm going to show you now is the command that you need to run to install ISP config 3. So, uh, uh, I've actually logged re uh, reconnected to the server and uh, there's a command that you need to run which is actually what I'm copying now uh, so just uh, actually first you need to edit the host file for the Ubuntu server to what I'm actually highlighting now so uh, if you check the document that I've actually uh, included in the video description it will actually show you how you actually need to edit the host file so copy the command that I am copying now and then paste it into the terminal so what this command does it to actually automatically install all the prerequisites that I needed to install ISP config as well as install the ISP config command so you just have to run it once and it will actually do everything for you so you just have to wait for the uh, download and installation process to complete before you can then access uh, ISP config. And then towards the end of the installation, we'll actually see the password that will actually allow us to connect to the ISP config web dashboard.
Okay, so the installation is now complete. So what you now need to do is to uh, go back to the light cell console and you need to open up uh, HTTP port 8080. So click on the networking tab for your instance and then under the IPv4 firewall rules you need to add a custom TCP rule that will open up HTTP port 8080. So I've actually done that now and then uh, it should take about a minute or so for the rules to update. And then you need to copy the IP address for the instance, open up a new web browser tab and then type in the URL HTTPS and then paste in the IP address for the instance and then append 8080 at the end of the URL. Uh, if you get a connection is not private, just click on advanced and then click on proceed. So you should now see an ISP config login page. Type in the username admin, go back to the console, copy the password from the installation uh, logs and then paste it back into the uh, password field and then click on login. So there you have it. So we've actually logged into the ISP config uh, dashboard. So you need to click on systems and then click on uh, firewall and then click on add firewall rule. So this rule will actually open up essential ports that are needed for ISP config to run uh, smoothly and efficiently. So there you have it folks, uh, that's a quick look at how you can quickly set up ISP config 3 on a cloud hosted uh, Linux Ubuntu server. I hope this tutorial has been informative and I'd like to thank you for viewing.